Good day, ladies and gentlemen, to the mining news on Commodity TV. Sibanyi Stillwater completed the acquisition of the Relden group of companies called Relden on 15th March 2024. 156 million US dollars almost were paid, which was financed from the proceeds of the 500 million US dollar convertible bond maturing in 2028 with a coupon of 4.25%, which was concluded in November 2023. The acquisition of Relden complements Sibania Stillwater's PGM recycling business in Montana in the USA and strengthens its commitment to the circular economy, which we see as a very useful complement to mining. Relton processes industrial and electronic waste and produced 145,000 ounces gold, 1.9 million ounces silver, 22,000 ounces palladium, 25,000 ounces platinum and 3.4 million pounds copper in fiscal 2022. Very positive for Sibania Steel Border and the stock is valued very favorably and trades at a great buy level. Canada Nickel made a new discovery at Newmarket and achieved the best drill results to date at REIT. The great, the great drill results continue and the first two holes at Newmarket successfully intersected the target mineralization, including 373 meters of 0.24% nickel. The best intersection to date in the first hole at REIT returned 675 meters of 0.25% nickel, including 142 meters of 0.32% nickel and 24 meters of 0.4% nickel. The first five holes at read each intersected over 650 meters of target mineralization within an 800 meter thick ultra mafic sequence that is twice as thick as Crawford's main zone, which is really saying something. A total of six holes have been completed at Reed and 17 holes have been completed at Crawford as part of a program to delineate an initial palladium platinum resource pending assays. Four drill rigs are currently operating and the fifth drill rig is expected to be commissioned on April 1st. As outlined in a conference call on 23rd February, the company's 2024 exploration program is targeting the delivery of seven additional resources by the second quarter of 2025 and six additional discoveries. Mark Selby, the CEO, said the initial results from New Market are also very encouraging. Also, due to the seasonal logistical constraints, we were only able to drill on the least attractive geophysical target. This initial drilling was on the edge of the eastern end of the seven kilometer long New Market target, which is adjacent to the main southeast target and part of an overall geophysical target more than three times the size of Crawford, Mark Selby continued. Canada Nickel is going its way and delivering top results. The stock is way too cheap and also a great buying opportunity. Caliber Mining appointed Jason Sear as Vice President Operations Canada and André Morneau as Process Manager for the Valentine Goldman in Newfoundland and Labrador in Canada. In addition, Calibre was added to the Van Eck Vectors Gold Miners ETF, effective 15th March 2024. We congratulate as this shows the high quality of the company and increases visibility. Also, the company just closed a $100 million bought deal and is now superb finance to complete Valentine and do much, much more. You can also find all information on our Commodity TV app in German and English as well as everything about commodities. We look forward to a like and more importantly, please subscribe to our TV channel. Please note the disclaimer. The shares discussed are part of the SRC Mining Specialist Situation Certificate and I'm a shareholder in the companies. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from Switzerland.